So let's go over now how we can actually solve the top k problem using this idea of partitioning. Now remember what we're given here is a list L and some number k and what we're interested in are the top k elements of L. And for the sake of simplicity in this example, by top, I mean smallest, the ones that have the smallest values. You can always flip things around, turn the right greater thans into less thans and so forth and, and everything will be fixed. But for now, let's just imagine that we're interested in the smallest element, or the smallest k elements, uh, in, if the list were sorted. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start off, uh, remember what we know how to do with partitioning is, is given some value v. We don't know which value to use, so let's just pick one at random. So here I am picking a value at random, let's say there. So there's our value v. And now we're going to run the partitioning algorithm on this. And there's a couple different cases it can happen. So we're going to look first at this case 2 because that's the super duper easy one. So in this case 2, we, we picked some v at random and it just so happens that we totally lucked out and the rank of v is exactly k. So what happens when we run partitioning on that value v is it's going to separate all the values of L into the ones smaller than v, equal to v, and greater than v. And that happens to be at position k, so the ones on the first k positions here are exactly the top k for the list, the smallest k elements that we were looking for. So in this case, we're done. We lucked out. But that's only one of the three cases. We need to look at the other cases now.